episode of Jay Leno's Garage. As you know, we are huge Lamborghini enthusiasts here. We got mirrors, the spotters, Countach. This model, 2018 Lamborghini Huracan. This is a uh, quite a high performance vehicle. Um, this one set a record recently at Nurburgring. It might have been broken since the time we uh, uh, we filmed and this airs. But I believe it was six minutes and 52 seconds, which is just unbelievable for a performance car, especially uh, one like this. As far as high performance cars goes, this is not like the P1 McLaren or the 918 Porsche, those are million dollar cars. This one sells for about 275, which is still a lot of money, but to do Nürburgring in under seven seconds is uh, pretty amazing. Let's meet one of the gentlemen responsible uh, for this, uh, Alessandro Forminski. Am I saying that, Alessandro? Did I say it correctly? Yeah, correct. Oh, very good. He is, he is the chief operating officer right. at Lamborghini and an engineer as well. And tell us what we have here. V10, correct? Yes. Uh, this is a, a V10 uh, naturally aspirated right. engine. And I underline naturally aspirated because today, you know, there is this race for uh, turbo engines. Huh? Yeah, it seems like everybody has to do turbo now, mainly because of emissions, correct? Yeah. That's to, to get performance and emissions, you need your turbo. Uh, but there are a lot of us that like uh, naturally aspirated, or I always say normally aspirated, naturally aspirated cars, which means it has no turbo. It just has, uh, obviously, fuel injection. Um, and you get a little bit more performance. It seems a little bit quicker. Even though turbo lag has pretty much been eliminated, it's still so normally yeah. aspirated or naturally aspirated is uh, is pretty exciting. Um, was it 5.3 liter? Is that what it is? Or 5.2? 5.2. 5.2 liter V10. V10. Okay. Yes. Uh, how many speed transmission? Uh, seven speed. Seven yeah. speed transmission. Dual and, clutch. And a dual clutch. Yeah. So it's it's got all the street cred, and it's it's a good looking car. Um, so. Let's walk around the vehicle. Let's start with the brakes, which yes. just seem incredible. Look at the size of this caliper. What is that, six piston caliper? Six pistons, okay. yes. Just to increase the performances uh, of uh, the brake power right. and uh, in uh, carbon fiber. So it's a very powerful uh, system for a car that has uh, to accelerate and brake uh, at the same time at the highest level. Right, and it's, uh, you know, to me, I the thing I love about uh, modern cars is how technical and how how close the tolerances are. I mean, the brake caliper is here, the wheel is here. You might slip a business card through that, yes. maybe. <laughs> but to realize you're going 200 and something miles an hour, and even with expansion and growth, obviously it doesn't touch there. But I mean, you can just barely see daylight between there. I mean, that's it's pretty exciting that that. Uh, modern vehicles can work with those type of tolerances because you look at cars from the 60s and you can you know, kind of go like this, you know, yeah. but that's, that's pretty space, amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what tire is that on there? Is that? Uh, this is a Pirelli. Oh, this Pirelli. is a okay. 245, uh, 20 inches uh, okay. that has been uh, developed together with Pirelli, you know, that we have a long, long term partnership right. with them. They are the unique supplier of our tires. And for this car, we specifically developed uh, the Pirelli P0 tire that has a different tread, uh, let's say, uh, more slick oriented, uh, with the tread that is more flatter. Right. And so this gives more um, uh, direction when uh, you drive the car above all on a racetrack, uh, and it has, uh, therefore, uh, more uh, power in traction and also in a lateral uh, um, uh, containment, so when the car goes into a curve. Gotcha. And of course, this is a center lock wheel, correct? So you need a special tool. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We have a special tool that uh, comes with the with the car that right. uh, you can use uh, obviously to replace uh, the the rim. Is a central lock. We have also an option with the five bolts. Right. A different style package, but for uh, let me say performances, uh, the central lock uh, is uh, the number one. Yeah. And this is lighter. Yes. And everything. Yeah. Okay. And this obviously four wheel drive. Yes. Uh, and the torque changes between front and back. Yes. Yes. It, it depends what mode you're in. Yeah. It depends on how you want to drive your car. So we start from the Strada mode. That is, let me say, if you want to say the safest uh, standard way of driving. Comfort. It, comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
then you go to the sport uh, that is uh, the more fun to drive right. and then finally to the Corsa mode that is the race oriented uh, drive mode and in all these uh, driving modes the torque changes uh, from the front to the back uh, the, the let me say the sport mode uh, is the funnest uh, also because uh, moves the, the torque to the back uh, up to 80-90%. Oh wow, 89% yeah. of the torque goes to the back when you're in spark mode. So you can, so you can move around. You can bit. drift. You can, you can drift, drift a uh, bit. In yeah, a, yeah. Uh, let me say, always in a safe condition, but right. uh, this is what uh, the car uh, gives you. See, that's what I didn't like about the early four-wheel drive. I mean, you were well planted, but you, you just, yeah. you couldn't have any, you know, you see a little bit of water, you know, you could kick it around and make it swing around a little bit. Now you can do that. Yeah, yeah, now you yeah. can do. I mean, yeah. uh, with uh, this yeah. kind of technology on board, uh, there is a uh, pretty lot of flexibility so that uh, you can uh, have, uh, for instance, this car as a daily driver if you want to use uh, like that, or you can go on a racetrack uh, and have the best lap time. Right, right. Now, something that's interesting to me, when you look at the car, as you're looking at it now, it looks like a fairly simple shape, but it's really, there are a lot of aerodynamic work that goes yes. into this. I mean, far more than even I realized when we were talking earlier about how this spoiler works and how the air goes through and it, it the spoiler actually can force one side of the car down versus yes. the other side into a corner. I, explain explain how that works here. Yeah, this car has a, let's say it's the unique car at the moment in the market that has a, the um, uh, active Lamborghini aerodynamic system or as we used to say Aerodynamica Lamborghini Attiva in yeah. Italian, that uh, the acronym is ALA, right. that in English means a wing. Yeah. And yeah. So Don't we, say ALA too much, you'll cause trouble here <laughs> in the States, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is a, is a, yeah. let's say, is a ALA. Eh? ALA, 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 ALA. Praise ALA. ALA. <laughs> and uh, this uh, system uh, is uh, pretty advanced and works in this way. We have a front part, uh, right. where in the um, front bumper we have um, created uh, a flap that opens and closes automatically uh, from the, the, the... So the flap opens and closes depending on what? Uh, on depending speed? On, on speed, uh, okay. uh, acceleration, if you are turning. So there are a few parameters uh, that uh, the central ECU, so the, the brain, uh, gets uh, as information right. and then manages uh, the system. So in this case, opening or closing the flap, uh, for instance, the flap has to stay closed for the highest downforce right. when you are braking because you need the highest stability or when you are turning because you need to have the, the precision in the steering right. of the car during a, a curve. And then the flow of the air goes through the roof, the top. Okay. Here, let me say that everything follows a rule that forms, follows function. So right. the geometry, the shape is like this because there is a reason why. In, right. this, in this case, it's the aerodynamic So it's not like, reason. in the old days, you would just style a car like the Mura, the most beautiful car to look at, but aerodynamically, uh, not so much. Because <laughs> uh, I know, we were talking earlier, I have a, a 67 Lamborghini Mura and a 69. If you get up over 100 miles an hour, that front end starts to, I mean, you actually, whoa. I mean, yeah. actually, the air gets, air is literally pushing the car. The body. Yeah, you're almost like a hovercraft, you know. So, whereas this is the exact opposite, it forces it down. Yes, and it calibrates how it forces down. Yeah. Because the air goes up to the roof and then touches the engine bonnet. And here there is uh, an inlet okay. where the air, so we use the force of the wind. So, we help, uh, we need the help of the wind. So, the air gets inside goes down along the engine bonnet and gets into this uh, uh, inlet. That. Okay, so it goes in the inlet here. Yeah, from here it gets into this... Uh, right here. Here, this uh, pipe, this tube. There is a flap here inside. And basically the air gets through the support. And this is hollow. Yes. This, this is, is hollow, so the air is coming up inside here and then exits through these vents here. Exactly. Okay. And when this happens, basically the normal wing has the fluid going all around, around the wing, the surface, and creates downforce. Right. When you let the air get out from the vents, this effect is broken. So you lose uh, downforce and you reduce drag. And so the effect is like not having uh, the wing. Right. So it's as if you 
let's say you, you, if you're going to do a high speed run, you want to run as fast as the car can go over 200 miles an hour. This closes, so it's as if you took the wing off and you're going straight. Exactly, and the beauty of the system is that this is uh, happening uh, in uh, 0.5 seconds yeah. and uh, is automatic. And the balance between the front and the rear is always at zero in terms of uh, downforce. Okay. And I would like also to underline the fact that uh, this system, in comparison with the traditional system, save around about 80% uh, in terms of weight. And this is possible also because uh, the entire package here is done in a carbon fiber, forged carbon fiber. That is uh, a material that uh, we used to uh, work uh, since, uh, let me say, at least 2010 when we launched uh, right. um, the Dissesto Elemento. And uh, it's possible to do this in carbon fiber with this material because uh, with uh, this uh, particular production process, we can have really thin uh, uh, surfaces, uh, really uh, light uh, packaging, uh, and complex uh, geometries. That is not something that uh, you can usually do with the normal carbon fiber. No, that's uh, pretty amazing because now, in my old Countach, my 86, when I got it, it had a wing on it. And that wing, if you tried to go over 160, it would, it, it would look like somebody pulling you back. Yes. So if, I, if this wing was on that car, once I got up to that speed, it's as if I had no wing on at all. Exactly. I mean, that's, that's, pretty, that's very clever. Yeah. I, 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 I just, I don't mean to re-explain what he's saying, but I, I, I wasn't understanding it, and now I do. I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing. So by having the air literally go through the wing, it's as if the wing isn't here at all. Exactly. Yeah. And, and there is also an additional feature that uh, uh, let this, uh, let me say, solution be really clever, and uh, in particular for uh, use on the racetrack and so on. The wing in the middle has a, a sort of wall. There is a section that right. keeps the left and the right side of the wing uh, working in an autonomous way. So you can activate the left, you can activate the right. And when the, uh, this works, when uh, we apply this kind of strategy, when uh, usually we turn, so when uh, you have to turn the car, right. usually what happens is that uh, the weight of the car is always on the outside, sure. or so on the external side of the curb, where all the weight is there, so the car there is stable. The internal side usually lose a bit of traction because of this effect of... Right, uh, so going around a corner, all the weights on this side, it's as if, that wheel is, as if that wheel is lifting up. Exactly. So what this does is it cuts the downforce on this side, increases it in this side. So it's as if, it's as if people were exactly. pushing down on the car as it went around a corner. That's, that's real science. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's and, great. And this helps uh, the car to be driven precisely with a less uh, steering angle, yeah. uh, having uh, less road you know, to cover because you are more direct. Uh, and uh, as I used to say sometimes, uh, is, uh, to, to give a sort of uh, um, explanation, is one, it's like when you are on a bobsled, uh, on a slope you go down yeah. and you pull a lever, so the effect is that this helps you turning. Sure, sure. So to a certain extent, you can uh, figure out this uh, like that. Yeah, it's really amazing because in the old days, you just went faster by giving it more horsepower, just put more horsepower in. Now you get more horsepower through aerodynamics and it's, 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 it's pretty amazing. Very cool. This is all a carbon fiber as well. Yeah, this is forged carbon fiber. Right. So it's the same technology used uh, for uh, the wing. And uh, with this uh, solution, because both the wing, uh, the rear bumper, but also the engine bonnet uh, save around about 88 pounds uh, in terms of weight uh, in comparison with the, the normal, uh, let's say, right. Huracan. And uh, this is uh, possible, again, because of this technology and the fact that we can reach this kind of uh, shapes. Together with this, you said we have uh, this beautiful exhaust. Also, the exhaust were adjusted, so evolved. Uh, they, uh, the, their weight is uh, less than, right. obviously, the, the, the four-wheel drive. All the holes around here, is that for lightweight? Or is that, is that some... Is, is, is uh, for sound, for sound is, is yeah. to create uh, a louder sound. Right, right. I love the side mirrors. You can actually see out the back. Yeah. Is, is, uh, I, mean, uh, the, 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 I mean, the full package here is done uh, to 
to, to respect the aerodynamic uh, uh, needs. I'd say, it, but it's not only this, it's also excitement inside the car. Yeah, yeah. Because for us, uh, it's important to have uh, the experience. Is that the product, is the technology, but also the experience when you drive a car. And so also when you get inside, uh, you know, in the cockpit, uh, you see that when you drive in different modes, you have different now, uh, cockpit settings. Does the car raise or lower in different modes, or is it always the same height? No, it's the same height. Same height, okay. Has a magna ride suspension, right. so that, oh, okay. uh, sure. so that uh, the magna ride suspensions help, obviously, in the driving modes to be more or less uh, stiffer, right. and this gives the car more or less the, the, the sense of uh, you know, rigidity when, uh, when you drive, more direct. And at the same time, has also the um, Lamborghini dynamic steering system, that is uh, uh, the, the system that uh, while uh, you, you change the driving modes, you have a more or less direct uh, feel, feel yeah. o o of the car. And, and so this helps the driver, for instance, when, uh, when you are at a high speed, uh, you want to have uh, right. the steering in your hands and feeling what is So you have less happening. power steering the faster you go. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And okay. also the, the steering angle. Yeah. So you have uh, less. It tightens up. Yeah. How big is it? Let's see the trunk. I, uh, I like supercar trunks. They always make me laugh. So this is the trunk. Uh, you could go away for six months. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Maybe you have to buy something uh, yeah. <laughs> when you are out. Uh, okay. But uh, you can fit a trolley and a bag. Yeah, say. a little bag. Yeah, for the sure. weekend, it looks, uh, for looks good. For the weekend, if you're a guy by yourself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, what is here? This is... Uh, here there is the magic. When uh, the magic. <laughs> when or in case you have uh, oops, a flat tire, yeah. here you have all your... Uh, you have white gloves. Yes. You have gloves. Gl and really, you have, really, uh, when you change your tire, what better color than white gloves, really? Why would these be black gloves? Why would be white gloves? That's hilarious. Is, and is they're a, leather. Very nice. Yeah, it's leather, yeah. It's a Lamborghini leather. Yes. So when you, ch when you go to change a tire and you realize you have no spare, you put these gloves on, they keep from freezing. Oh, yeah, and cool. there is a compressor inside. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, here. What is that? It? Fix a flat? Yeah, it's uh, just to, free, to fix. Uh, okay, that, those have never worked. I've yeah. never seen anybody. I've never seen <laughs> anybody. Oh, I got a flat tire. Oh, I'm fine. No, that's funny. Well, that's OK. That's OK. That makes me laugh. And that's your. And that's your uh, yeah, here you have uh, to pump the, up the tire. Yeah, yeah, you have the compressor uh, that uh, I mean uh, helps to <laughs> inflate yeah. the the, yeah. the the the. And then of course you use this to call the flatbed truck. Exactly. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's a Lamborghini. Yeah, a, a flatbed. Yeah, thank you. All right. They can call our service and uh, we. But that's that we never happens. That never happens. <laughs> that never happens. That never happens. But it's all nice. I love the white gloves. That really makes me laugh. That's very funny. So let's get that right back in there. And we'll shut this. But look how nicely everything just sort of fits together. I mean, just the shunt lines here, everything is. And of course, these uh, headlights are pretty incredible, too, aren't they? Yes, these are our, uh, let me say, uh, Lamborghini light uh, design that is yeah. the Y uh, shape yeah. that uh, you can also see in our uh, uh, in the Aventador. Oh, okay. So that comes from uh, the, the, the design language uh, of uh, Lamborghini. Yeah. Right. And this would be pretty much, I don't want to say the base model, but this is the, the well, no, this is a, oh, this is a high performance. The, Where does the model lineup start with Lamborghini now? So the model line uh, starts with the Huracan. Right. We have the, and in the Huracan family, we have uh, the four-wheel drive, coupe, and spider. Right. Then we have the rear-wheel drive, right. coupe, and spider. And this is, let me say, the pinnacle because it's the top right, of the product right. lineup. Uh, okay. That's the performante. So you can still get this car in just rear-wheel drive if you want it. Yes. Oh, I mean, it's a... Uh, let's say, is a more, we say, fun to drive car because it has a rear uh, wheel drive uh, uh, powertrain. And right. so uh, naturally uh, is more oriented to drift uh, naturally as, as, a, as a car. But this uh, is the fast one. Well, this is uh, the fastest one. It goes uh, 0 to 62 in uh, 2.9 seconds. Right. Yeah, that's Six, pretty amazing. 640 horsepower, that's 
30 yeah. horsepower more than the regular uh, four-wheel drive. Were you at Nürburgring when the guy set the record in this? No, I was no. not. Uh, that was pretty exciting. Though. Yeah, it was really exciting. Yeah, yeah. I really, mean, below really seven exciting. seconds for yeah, I mean, a street car is al was almost unheard of. And also by far, because it's uh, six uh, minutes and 52 seconds uh, and uh, zero one cents. Yeah, so yeah. Because the cents, when, when you are uh, yeah. in the race, is, uh, means a lot. Means everything. <laughs> well, let's, uh, can we take this for a ride? Yes, of course. As you can see, the interior pretty comprehensive. Alejandro, take us through here. What do we what do we have here? This is our start and stop, obviously. Yeah. Uh, hold the brake. Just hit that. Yes. And we have any number of choices of screens we can have, right? Yes. Okay. You got right here. You got Strata. You have Sport. And then you have also the change of the cockpit. Okay. That is cool. And you see, and you notice when you when you hit those, uh, it changes. When you go into Corsa, as you can see, the tack is most prominent. Then in sport, the tank is prominent, then your, your speed is over here, then you have your entertainment stuff. And then in strata, that's kind of like your comfort mode or, or your quietest setting. Um, uh, what else? Take us through here. We have, this is a yeah, window have, switch. Yeah, all the commands for the windows, right. for the emergency lights, uh, for the ESAC system, if you want to remove uh, the safety system for the spin. And then you have the lifting system that is important because right. you can lift the car by two inches and it helps right. to cross bumps. And then here you have all the infotainment system with the Navi, if you want, the telephone with Bluetooth, yeah, all of that. the card system, and then the aircon system. And then here you have the buttons to engage the reverse That's mode, reverse, right? yeah, like in an airplane. No? Right, like yeah. The, the, yeah. The, um, you do the maneuver of pulling and then you have uh, the parking the, and the, the manual because you can drive manual or automatic right uh, just only in Corsa is only manual right so when you're in Corsa it, it's a manual gearbox and then it turns to manual meaning you change gears there's no foot clutch but it has a double clutch gearbox which yes. means the next what double clutch means the next gate the gear is engaged it's ready to go by the time all you do is hit the button and boom it makes a shift for you and then it engages the next gauge up so yeah. that's why that's why they're able to be so much quicker than a standard uh, torque converter type gearbox uh, well it's time to go for a ride this thing is uh, pretty impressive you know the science of these aerodynamics that's what really is impressive to me uh, just how you figure the whole lot out and the air goes through the inside of the wing and it's hollow it's it's a pretty amazing car come on let's go for a drive and uh we'll show you what it's like on the street anyway boy very precise yeah. so at 80 miles an hour in seventh gear you're barely turning 3,000 RPM. Yeah. And you have the full torque uh, yeah. already available uh, around 70, 80% of the torque already at 1,000 RPM. That's a lot for the drivability and yeah. also for uh, the, the excitement when you drive, no? Because yeah. having so much torque since the beginning. Uh, gives, it's very uh, impressive. Yeah, it gives the driver very a lot of uh, emotion. So Lamborghini is selling what about 8,000 cars a year, 9,000? No, so far last year we sold uh, approximately 3,500 wow. worldwide. Here in the States, uh, more than 1,000. So it's uh, almost a third of the production. Boy, it's amazing how one piece it feels. Yes. How solid it feels. I'm astounded how comfortable it is. I mean, I drive a lot of cars and this really is comfortable. The interior is uh, really first class, very nicely done. Yeah, there are, uh, I mean, many parts together here. There is a lot of carbon fiber into inside with the forged uh, components. Uh, yeah. And uh, that gives uh, more sportiness uh, to the car. And by the way, this is one of the key features of this car, no? The, 
forge the carbon fiber. Right. And uh, you can also have uh, the interior uh, basically as you want because uh, we have another Personam program oh, for customers. To personalize the car. Yeah, where you can personalize the car basically as you want. We have an atelier in Santa Like these seats are very comfortable. Yeah. They're not leather. What are they? They're Alcantara? This is Alcantara. Yeah, yeah. very nice. It's Alcantara and uh, you can have uh, also with uh, additional, uh, let me say, engra laser engraved uh, geometries uh, with the Y shapes uh, yeah, yeah. that uh, you can recognize also in our lights. Uh, just to give uh, this uh, late motive uh, Lamborghini, let me say, the, the design oriented uh, uh, pattern. Beautiful sound. Yeah, hear the sound. Like uh, Italian uh, opera, yes? <laughs> this is like uh, an opera, you said. Uh, everything uh, has to be like Bocelli at, at the top level and this is the naturally aspirated engine the sound yeah uh, that's something unique and our engineers work a lot also. that's right turbo is too yeah it's a bit uh, silent <laughs> muffled say, yeah, yeah. it uh, doesn't express really the the, the, the soul eh, of, uh, yeah. the, of the engine uh, of the of the car and for us experience uh, is everything uh, because it's about the product, the car, the performances, but it's also about the driver, no? When you want to drive a super sport car, you want yeah. to feel the car. It's not just uh, it's not just a matter of seconds in the lap, uh, yeah. it's also all the rest. That's the reason why most of our clients buy Lamborghini for the, the experience they have. You know what's so funny? And I mean this is a compliment. I see so many Lamborghinis in rap videos and all this kind of stuff, you forget what the soul of the car is until you drive it like this. You go, boy, this is a real sports car. I mean, it really handles nice. It drives very nice. It's very impressive. It's, I mean, it's very impressive. Yes, and also consider that this car uh, has uh, all the setting, uh, the bashing, the suspensions, yeah. uh, the, the, the cinematic, all the parts uh, of, of the chassis that have been revised to be stiffer, to be more precise. So the experience here is a uh, very, very at the very top level, no? Yeah, very much so. Well, when you turn, and then if you add this uh, together with the ALA system, uh, where you have uh, this uh, effect of the vectoring effect, like the one we are experiencing now, no? When you turn, uh, and uh, the feeling uh, of uh, driving this car uh, is uh, really uh, beyond, uh, I think, the expectation. How many people work at Lamborghini now? How many in the factory? At the moment, uh, we are around about uh, 1,600, yeah. 1,700. Uh, later in the last two years, we hired uh, more than 500 people to be prepared for the arrival and, the, let me say, for yeah. the production of the super SUV. Yeah. We are going uh, to launch December 4th. So, Seventeen, the Urus. So that's an open secret now. The secret SUV. Yeah, it's the secret SUV that yeah. is not anymore a secret. Do they have a name? What's it going to be called? Do they know? Urus. Urus. Huh? Urus. U R U S. Urus. Urus. And uh, it's a super sport SUV with a 650 horsepower. <laughs> say I am very impressed you know it's been a while since I drove a modern Lamborghini probably a couple of years I, I mean this is uh, <laughs> it's pretty incredible and I know 275,000 a lot of money but like I said when you compare it to a P1 or a 918 Porsche uh, and it's almost as fast I mean it's it's very very impressive interior is, is beautifully done it's really comfortable it drives like a G it's comfortable like a GT car but it handles like a sports car. 
So you really could use this on a daily basis. I really, and I made a new friend, my Italian buddy here. So this is very good. Now I need something from Lamborghini. I just go to the head guy. See? <laughs> so this is really good. Thank you so much. This Thank has been you. a real treat. And uh, Thank you. Uh, boy, it's, it's, it's quite impressive. Ch check it out. See if Chris Harris has done one of these on the racetrack. You know, we just go out in the street. I'm not a race car driver. I just enjoy driving, and I love the feel of it, and I love the whole experience. Uh, but Chris really throws it around. He'll probably show you what he can really do sometime. So thanks for checking it out. See you guys next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>